in this video, we're going to take a look at DaVinci a little bit more in depth as far as just some basic editing techniques that you can use when you're working with different video clips. Now, you can watch my previous videos to get an idea of setting up a project here. But what I am currently working in is I am in the edit mode here down at the bottom, which is the third uh, from the left hand side as far as your interfaces are concerned. And I actually also in the upper left hand corner, I have the media pool active. So you can actually see I have my timeline, which right now here's my timeline. You can see I have nothing on it. I've got some audio to work with and I have three kind of watery ocean type of clips here. So let's go ahead here and I'm going to start off and just drag and drop one of these uh, video files onto the timeline. Probably the three biggest things I do as far as editing a video clip is I use the razor tool, but also the in and out points of the video clip itself. So let's go ahead and first talk about in and out points. One thing that you can do whenever you are working in uh, DaVinci, and before I actually go any further, what I'm going to do is on this right hand side here, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. All right, so what you can actually do is number one, you do not need to place uh, the start of a video file right at the start here. So for instance, if you had something like you wanted to have some text or maybe a photograph or have the music start and then have your video clip start playing, that's something that you can absolutely do. Another thing though, whenever you're working with video is whenever you have just the basic arrow selection tool active, when you come to the edges here, you see how I'm getting all of these different tools kind of popping up. So I'm either sitting in the edge here, which would actually combine or overlay between two pieces. So that's not really doing much for me. But then notice that I can also change here whenever I get, uh, in this case, whoop, let me go ahead there, as far as the left facing where I can actually change where the starting point is in my video, which is a nice way because of the fact it's not destructive, whereby you're not actually going in and deleting out a chunk of the video. Now, another tool that you can use though, if you wanna have different cuts is the blade edit mode. The blade on the flip, hand, the flip side goes through and you can actually choose specific points. And if you click, notice how it kind of divided the video clip for you here. So now I could actually take this portion of the clip and maybe put it at the start here and have a little gap there as far as having you know a breathing moment there. Another thing that you can also do is maybe for some reason I actually wanted the video to start here where I made the clip and I don't need this first part. I can come in and delete and then just start working with the clip as it is here. However, just remember you can still come back in and that's one of the nice things with the blade tool and the selection tool is if I changed my mind, I could come back in and kind of fine tune. Maybe my blade, I just clipped a hair too much off so I can come in and do a little bit of extra editing, kind of fine tuning there. So those are some options as far as being able to tie your audio together or I'm sorry, your videos together. So let me actually, we're going to grab this video here and kind of do a little bit of an overlay. And what I'm going to do is on this video two layer, I want to actually kind of clip here. I'm going to use the A tool and delete. And what I'm going to do here is I'm kind of going to position this so that I have kind of this, what you can see here, this kind of give and take as far as when my second video is starting and overlapping into the original video here. So it's not uncommon too that you'll have multiple video layers going whenever you're working inside of a video editing software program like DaVinci. 
We can also do the same with audio where you might have, you know, the background music, but then you might have a voiceover as well. Uh, however, right now, as you can see, the videos that I'm working with have no audio associated with them. Just so that you can see it, you can right click on any of the audio file types and you're going to get a whole range of different options here that you can work with as far as the audio go or as far as your video goes here. So you can even change the duration, you can do a ripple cut or delete, uh, so on and so forth. If you, as we move on, if you have different attributes associated with it, as far as like weight balancing, you can actually go through and clean that up as well. So you have a lot of different options that you can just go in and tweak directly on the video clips that you're working with. So that's one thing I'd encourage you to work with and play around with as far as laying out and designing your projects in uh, DaVinci here.